What's happening? Happy Wednesday, y'all. It's the eve of the eve of the eve of the Leah Mastermind. I don't know if you guys know this, but this mastermind's going to be sick. Sumner is uh, setting everything up. It's going to be absolutely insane. We have a lot of really cool people coming out. Um, really great time. We have huge lineup of speakers and everything like that. And just massive amounts of networking and everything like that. So if you're in the Vegas area and you even want to just come stop by, not to the mastermind itself, but to the networking that we're going to be doing in the area, hit us up. Make sure you drop in the Discord. Discord link is below. Um, and reach out to us and then come connect with everybody in the Leah group and, and uh, yeah, come hang out with us. Um, we'll be doing, we'll be there. I'm there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's going to be a good time. Um, guys, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Sumner and Ryland just launched this, landinsights.co. This site is sick. We've been using it, uh, the Leah Market Selection Tool. Uh, we've They've rebranded it to landinsights.co. And let me show you guys a little something real quick. So this is what it used to be. It used to be Tableau. Now it's going to come over here. This is called landinsights.co. And uh, this is how we're picking markets right here. I mean, you could sit there. You could do it manually. Like, I'll show you my sheets of how we used to do it. And um, this is way better. So this is how we used to sit here and do it. We would go through here. We would infill all this data, type it all in, and figure out everything, and then go through every county. And, like, it was a whole hellstorm, right? Well, now... Sumner has shaved hours off my stuff because they put this this together and um, it's just been a lifesaver. And honestly, it's maybe fine markets that I didn't even think about. So land that sites right here, you hit get started and then you're going to join the wait list. This is not launched yet that we're on. We're still inside as beta. Um, so we get to use it and it's it's absolutely amazing. So definitely join the wait list. Coolest part about joining the waitlist is you get this. Seven-figure market selection secrets. Right here, this is a couple modules you guys could go through. And it just basically talks about how to pick markets and all that, all that stuff. You definitely got to watch us. I'm going to put all these videos together. I've watched them, just not on the screen. So don't worry, I have seen it. And uh, he's got resources all here. Here's all the different stuff. Um 500 free skip traces, launch control, data tree, pet live, rocket print and mail, uh, Pebble CRM, which Pebble is what we use. It's insane. And the land insights platform, all this stuff. You get all those resources right here. We get discounts and all that stuff through, um, through Sumner. So check out all this stuff. You could follow all along on all these modules and learn about everything like that. And then really build yourself a seven figure market selection. So Guys, I can't stress this enough. This is such an awesome, awesome site, especially the way they built it out. Um, actually, let me see the demo. So you guys go through this and watch a demo and all that stuff if you want. Welcome to Land Insights. The only so, data. It'll go through everything, supply trends and all that stuff and all that. So let me show you guys actually. Right now let me log in. This is the other one. My two factors been screwing this thing up lately. Sick. All right, sweet. So this is basically land insights, but the way they're going to be doing it for this is going to be way cleaner. So this is what we use to analyze, pick our markets and all that stuff. And it's, it's that absolute game changer. It saves hours and hours of time. Um, from us doing it ourselves. So check it out. Cool. Um, I actually have to do a couple things. We're actually going to do this real quick. So update on our business. We have, yeah, you guys have that. So we have a couple new properties that just came in. We're still waiting for some to close. Um, we have just some bad, some bad, uh, Title stuff that we're working out and all that stuff. So we have a couple properties that we're waiting to close on. 
but uh, we have a couple properties listed. We got an offer on one of our listed properties yesterday, and uh, we just countered back. We're waiting to hear back from them. Hoping I get a call today saying that we're good to go. So we'll see. Um, these are our VAs that we're training and getting everything ready. I'm just checking on them to see how they're doing. We gave them a couple counties to look at. Looks like they did some work on these, which is great to see. About 60 priced. Okay, so we didn't price these yet. Okay, so we added one backstop. So I'm just checking a little bit of his work to see how he did. It's like a lot of stuff. Hmm. That's a lot. Okay. Let me check this out. Go on here. So I'm just gonna so hang on one second. Cool. All right. So let me just hop on Land Vision real quick. I want to check something and see this guy. So we're we're gonna we're gonna price another market today. I I put a poll out or just ask some questions and seeing what people want to kind of go over on these Wednesday calls. Next week I'm gonna probably do something something along the lines of. Um, doing mock calls and stuff like that and going over like different different things we get issues we come along come across and stuff like that different things like different objections and try to try to talk about how we overcome them so it's probably going to be next week so this week i'm going to just I want to price out some market i want to check on my vas again and just kind of see how they're all doing so i want to just look at this it looks like he pulled five thousand five hundred 68 parcels so let me see if that's correct so we're gonna go to spartanburg made a mistake i had to hit apply filter to everything we always got to make sure we hit up um add the search area so that's why it shows up okay it looks like he's pretty correct in that fact because there are five thousand something properties did you look at that it's a lot of properties okay that's a good thing right because that means we have a lot of mail to go out so he did his backstops, which is good to see. He did not price this yet. Oh, let me see something. Flood factor. Okay. All right, cool. So he's not ready on that one yet. That's fine. Let's check out Pickens, South Carolina. Not priced yet. Not priced yet either. It's going through it though. That's good. All right, sweet. All right, let's check this out. I have to do, well, let me check on, check on Michelle, see how she's doing. Oops, County. I 
She's doing her backstops, which is fantastic. This one looks like it's fully priced, ready to go. That's good. Three properties, sold data. Oh, okay, so she started using a chart. Hmm. That's interesting. I'll have to work with her on that, see what she did. Looks like she's using a chart instead, which is nice. It actually looks pretty good. So I'll have to see how she's doing that. Um, cool. Let's see if that works. Let's comp a property real quick and see how close she is. Wilkes, North Carolina. This is go end ID. Yo, Rob, what's up, brother? I'm just mail picking. Oh, nice. That's good. That means we pick something good, right? Do you know how much land ends? I'm not sure how much a month it's going to be. Uh, that's something you have to get on the wait list and find out. I know it's totally worth it though, honestly. Like whatever the cost is, it'll save you time, money, and everything. It's it's so freaking worth it. All right, so let's go parcel, ID, county, um, look, check. Oh, sweet deal. It's probably a bad property anyways. Let's grab one of these. Heidi Ho, $97 million? What the heck? That is... Holy crap. 5,200 contiguous acres. The last remaining large acre track in northwestern North Carolina. Rich Hydra dating back to Daniel Boone. Magnificent. Holy crap. Rob, let's buy this, bro. God damn. All right, so let's see what we got. Got a filter sold land one year lot size. Um, what did we grab? I grabbed a seven acre. Where's fifty eight? Four to ten. Let's see. Oops. All right, so we got seven acre sixty three, so average price. Let's see ninety four hundred acre. Okay. 
we are at 7,800 acres. She might be a touch low, but let me check some of the comps. Let's see the 60. 60 is beautiful property. Interesting views. Well, wow. holy heck, that took a long time to sell. July 27th, September 28th, October 3rd. This took a year to sell, but they're way overpriced. That's why. This property, though. This looks like a minor sub. I see some 60s. I think we're pretty good on that. So let's go back here. We're pretty good. Let's give her a green. Let's check this one. Same general area. It's a 10 acre. So, Rob, you're definitely not coming to Vegas, bro. like a tough market to price actually it's not that homogenous when you look at it got some 53s 35 35 60 60 37 90 56 I guess she's pretty much on the money. I see some 60s, so I think that's good. Forty-five, one thirty, one thirty, hundred. No good. So I'd say from forties. Could be a little low. Let me zoom out a little bit here. One thirty, fifty five hundred. Oh, it's a twenty one. Okay, that's good then. Go back on highlight that. Boom. Oh, 
45. Get some little low lows. 30, 37, 40, sweet. All right, she's good. Michelle. All right, so I got two counties I got to price out. I got Davy was it Caswell? I think it was Caswell. So I think I got to do this one. And then Davie County for review. All right, so we have market price right here. We're going to go green with this. It's got backstops. Good job. Will Davy County. It's quiet today in here. What's going on, everybody? Everybody's so quiet. I'm just comping out some of these deals, seeing how they did. Good, bad, and different. Yes, finally showed up. Unbelievably slow today. Have to get off this before I lose my mind.
Hot oh, damn, this area is expensive. All right, so this is probably because it's like downtown. Pretty sure. Yeah. So we're seeing comps in the 515s. Holy. Oh, do you know why it's showing houses still? There you go. Average price for acre is fifty eight thousand. We're at a six acre. Let's see what the six acres are trading at. Ten six acres forty four fifty one. Okay. I think it might be a tad high. Uh, yeah, we do ask agents, but first we're gonna we're not gonna do anything until like they've already called in. So we don't do neutral letters; we send blind offers. So I'll go in and I'll vet the deal myself and take a look at it. So like, let's say. This lead is a lead that just came in, right? So let's just say, just throw that out there. So I'll take that, I'll look into it and I'll, you know, zoom into the exact area that it's at, whatever. And I'm going to pull some comp for it. And I'm going to look at it and say, okay, yeah, I think, I think I'm good on my pricing based on what I'm seeing here. Then I'll reach out to agents and ask them. Like once I know it actually, I've already talked to the seller. It already looks like a good deal and everything like that. Then I'll usually call the agent and just say, hey, just curious what your opinions on this one is. Um, I sometimes will, before I talk to the seller, like if they've given enough information on Pat Live, stating that they know, you know, they're they're looking to sell it, they like our price, all that stuff. If they've, you know, kind of like told us all that and I'm comfortable with it, then I'll first reach out to the agent after I've comped the deal and just say, Hey, this is what we got. I got to call the seller still, but what do you think is pricing good? They'll get back to us and say, yep, pricing's good. Okay, cool. Then we're good to go. Then I call and just lock up the contract. It's usually that easy. Getting multiple opinions is always a good thing. So don't stress about that. This is one I gotta redo. Okay. Uh, let me Florida. If I'm not mistaken, I think this one was a mess too. redo this real quick so we go here go to land vision this is levy county search that this comes up click this baby
Man, my computer is a mess today. I can't get anything to load. What is up? So guys let me know in the comments and stuff like that or send me a dm on uh what I, on discord let me know what you guys are thinking what kind of videos do you guys want to see what kind of um you know i want to tailor this stuff towards everybody and just kind of see what's up what everybody's like kind of looking for what they struggle with i know we talk about a bunch of people had reached out to me and talked about this um basically getting their business going and all that stuff and how long it takes so things i've noticed for for this business is like cash conversion cycle is typically around six months and if you don't know what that means it basically means like for the dollar i put in how long does it take to come for to come back out on the other side right how long does it take for me to make my initial dollar i put back in back out um i've noticed noticed it's typically like six months right that means put a dollar in for marketing and everything like that by the time it circles back around it comes back to you it's probably about six months um so that when you're building your business like think about that stuff and you got to think okay if it's six months till i get my dollar back I need to plan out my marketing budget to make sure I'm getting X amount of mail out over six months or more to make sure <clears throat> I never run on a marketing budget. Um, it's really important to make sure you kind of do that because if you don't, you could really shoot yourself in the foot, you know, trying to get started, then stop and not have enough money, then go back and then. Blah, blah, blah. So that's one thing I've really noticed was, was that. Um, another thing, let's see, let's okay. Okay. <clears throat> I've definitely noticed that that's been an issue. Um, picking markets. A lot of people like worry and stress about picking markets. Ah. Allergies got me little oh, honey. Um, a lot of people always worry about like picking markets and stuff like that. The main thing we look for when we're looking through like this analysis tool. So let me look at the, let's look at the 10 to 20s. This is October. New data should be coming out soon. Uh, I want to make sure there's stuff that's sold in the last, you know, X amount, six months, let's say. So let's put 20 in there, at least 20 properties in this Probably not too many counties that have at least 20 in this range that have sold, but I definitely want to see that, right? I'd say probably actually like 15, but let's just say I want to see at least see 20 of this type of property available on the market. Can I go through? Let's see, 30. All right, cool. So you can see it shortened up the list a lot. And then I want to see my six month and these numbers, I kind of like 
don't have them set in stone, but there's different variables I look at. Let's just say like that's what I'm looking at. 30 available, 20 on the market, 20 sold in the last six months, and a 75% sell-through rate. These are all the counties in the U.S. that have these numbers. So here's the sell-through rates on the six-month. So if you're looking for a county, like here you go. There's Swanee. We just mailed them. Uh, Levi, that's Levy. That's what I'm doing now. These are pretty good counties too. 10 to 20s. So in last month. So my parameters I look for are this. And let me just reset this stuff. You guys could kind of see what I'm looking at. So I look for, I want to make sure there's at least 15% sold in the last month. Um, let's see. I just want to go back. So I'm going to pick 15% in the last month. I really want to see that there are at least 10 properties available and at least 10 comps in that range and comps in that range in the last six months, it's like a bare minimum. I do want to see better than that, but now here, all these, look at all these counties that have that stuff that fits. The next thing I'm going to sort by, I want to see, let's see which ones have activities. So these have five or more. So, I only want to look at the sell through rate if I've had at least five or more have sold in the last uh, month, right? So look at Baxter County, Arkansas. You've had in a 10 to 20 range, you've had five properties sold. You have a 60% sell through rate in um, the three month, 110. It's all good stuff. That's, I usually look for 15, 50, and 75. More is better. Currently for sale in that range is just 20. Faulkner County is good. Look at Florida. Look at Polk County. Let's check out Polk County. So we got nine. Let's see what this looks like. Let's look at Polk County right now. One year. Let's check 10 to 20 is like we were just looking at. 54 sold in the last year. That's freaking sick. So center of Florida in between Tampa and Orlando. Like this is ideal freaking land for rural rec. You're in between two major cities. Um, Yeah, this is this is a solid area. Let's see what we got for pricing. Let's go lot size. Pricing doesn't seem too homogenous. It kind of seems all over the place. But let's check. All right, so this is fun. Nothing is working today. Cool. Let's get 250, 350, 735. They're kind of all over the place with this. Pricing here. Let me check if you go here. Let's go to this. Yeah, usually anything that's going to be a white area is going to be way priced more. So, like this bottom of the county should be cheaper. So, you could go on here and I would pull this section right here specifically on um man vision price that 
maybe pull up here on land vision price that and then this whole inner area i might price different but actually it looks like most of the stuff below 540 is priced almost the same Got a couple outliers but not too bad i like this one rob we're gonna do this one It's that way. Oh, man. All right, guys. I actually think I might pop off now. My computer's really slowing me down today. I don't know what's going on. It is acting up. Um, so Vegas tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be in Vegas tomorrow. Should be an amazing time. If you guys are around, definitely connect with us. Drop your, you know, drop some stuff in Discord. Reach out to us. Let's try to connect. Uh, we have some open networking events scheduled outside of the mastermind. So... I'll be at the Wynn Hotel. If anybody's around, definitely stop in. DM me and I'll, I'll connect. And then uh, let's try to get meet up and stuff like that. Appreciate everybody coming in and hanging out. Make sure you guys are going to this right here, landinsights.co. Check out the seven-figure market selection secrets. And uh, grow your damn business. See it happen. So I will see you later. I'm going to go reset my computer. Thank you all for tuning in. And I'll check you guys later.